Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss on a new topic, chapter 9, quantizations of light. So today we are going to discuss on questions 9.2, the photoelectric effect. So before we start to discuss the example, okay, let us look at the equations that we will use or apply in this subtopic. Okay, so the equations for Einstein photoelectric equations state that K maximum is equal to EV stopping or is equal to HF minus work function. Okay, so let's start with the example. Okay, so the equations that we will use is K maximum equals to EV. V is the stopping potential and K also equals to HF minus work function. Okay, or we can write it as our photo energy is equal to work function plus K maximum. Okay, where our photo energy is equal to HF or HC over lambda. Similar for work function, work function we can write as HF0 where F0 is a threshold frequency or work function can also equal to HC over lambda0. Okay, next. Uh, please bear in mind that if let's say the equations that give us in electron volt so we can actually convert electron volt into joule by multiply 1.6 exponent negative 19 okay similar if you want to convert joule into electron volt you need to divide 1.6 exponent negative 19 okay so let us start with example 1 a photon of the green light has the wavelength of 740 nanometer. Then they give you the speed of light is 3 exponent 8 and the Planck constant is 6.63 exponent negative 34. Okay. Question number 1. Calculate the photon frequency. So since we have the wavelength 740 nanometer and we have the value for the speed of light, therefore C is equal to F lambda, F will equal to C over lambda. Okay, so we substitute in the value for C is 3 exponent 8, wavelength is 740 nanometer. Okay, so if we press calculator, we will get the photon's frequency is equal to 4.05 exponent 14 and the unit is hertz. Okay. okay, next, determine the photon energy in joule and also in electron volt. Okay, so photon energy E is equal to HC over lambda or we can write HF. So since we have the frequencies, therefore we can straight away use the value for frequency. H is the Planck constant, so it's 6.63 exponent negative 34. The frequency is 4.05 exponent 14. Okay, therefore the photo energy we will get 2.69 exponent negative 19 joule. Okay, so this is in joule. Okay, how to convert from joule to electron volt? Okay, so what we need to do is actually we need to divide it with the electron charge uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19 okay so if we press calculator we will get 1.68 electron volt okay okay next example number two for a gamma radiation with the wavelength of 4.62 exponent negative 12 meter propagate in the air calculate the energy of the photon for gamma radiation in electron volt Okay, so we want to determine the photon energy where the photon energy equations E is equal to HF or HC over lambda. Okay, so since the questions give us the wavelength, so we will use HC over lambda. Okay, so E is equal to H6.63 exponent negative 34. C is the speed of light, 3 exponent 8. And the wavelength is given 4.62 exponent negative 12. Okay, so the photo energy we will get 4.31 exponent negative 14 joule. Okay, but the question asks us to uh, give the photo energy in terms of electron volt. 
Okay, so from jo to volt, we need to divide it by 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, so if we press calculator, we will get 2.69 exponent 5 electron volt. Okay, so this is the photo energy in electron volt. Okay, next we we'll go to example 3. Okay, cadmium has the work function of 4.22 electron volt. Okay, number one, calculate the trial frequency. So this is the work function, and work function we know that is equal to HF naught or HC over lambda naught. So since the question says us to find the frequency, so we will use work function equals to HF naught. Okay, where F naught is equal to work function over H. Okay, so work function is 4.22 electron volt. Okay, so electron volt E here. Okay, you need to convert it into joule. Okay, so we need to times 1.6 exponent negative 19. Then it will convert into joule over H. H, the value is a Planck constant. So it's 6.63 exponent negative 34. Okay, so the trial frequency answer is equals to 1.02 exponent 15. Hertz. Okay, next question B. Find the maximum speed of the photoelectrons when the cadmium is shined by the UV radiation with the wavelength of 275 nanometer. Okay, so 275 nanometer is the incident wavelength. Okay, so if you want to find the maximum speed, we can use E equals to work function plus K max. Okay, where E is equal to HC over lambda because they give us the wavelength. And work function just now we already uh, obtained 4.22. Okay, so it's 4.22 electron volt plus K max. K max we can write as half NB squared. Okay, so now if you substitute in, you find that actually our work function is still in electron volt. Okay. So we need to convert this electron volt into joule, okay? By multiply with 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, so we substitute in all the value first. 6.63 exponent negative 34. C is 3 exponent 8. And the wavelength is 275 nano. So I will change it, become power of negative 9. Okay, 4.22 still in electron volt, so we need to multiply with 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, plus half mm because it's a photo electrons. Okay, so mass here, of course, we must refer back to the mass of the electron. So it's 9.11 exponent negative 31. Okay, V squared. So after pressing the calculator, Okay, the answer that we will get for V maximum okay, is equal to 3.26 exponent 5 meter per second. Okay, next 3C. Determine the stopping potential. So again, we can use back the equation E equals to work function plus K max. Okay, so now because the question asks us to find the stopping potential, so we can write it equals to EVS uh, because K max is equal to EVS okay or if you don't want to use this equation okay we actually can straight away use K max equals to EVS okay so K max half NV square is equal to EVS okay so we can find the stopping potential is equal to half and this is the mass of the electron and the V here is 3.26 exponent 5. And remember to square over E. E is 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay. Therefore, the stopping potential is equal to 0 0.3 volt. Okay. So this is the answer for questions number 3. Okay. Next, we will go to questions number 4. 
Okay, question number four is a beam of the white light containing a frequency between 4 until 7.9 exponent 14 hertz. Okay, incident on the sodium surface. Okay, so this surface has the functions of 2.28 electron volt. Okay, so number one, calculate the threshold frequency. So similar like question number three, since we have the work function and work function is equal to HF0, Okay, so we can find the threshold frequency equals to work function over H. Okay, so again 2.28 in electron volt, so we need to convert it into Joule. Okay, remember to convert it into Joule first. H is 6.63 exponent negative 34. Therefore, the threshold frequency we will get 5.5 exponent 14 hertz okay so this is the minimum frequency required to exhibit the photoelectron from the sodium surface okay next what is the range of the frequency in the beam of the light for which the electron are ejected from the sodium surface okay so the range here just now is 4 until 7.9 okay but please bear in mind that the minimum frequency needed or the threshold frequency here just now we already found that okay at least we must have 5.5 exponent 14 okay in order to let the electron ejected from the sodium surface okay therefore at least the frequency here must 5.5 exponent 14 until 7.9 exponent 14 so this is the frequency range okay to uh, let the electron ejected from the sodium surface okay so this is the answer for questions 4b okay next question number 4c determine the highest maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectron that are ejected from the surface so we want to find the highest kinetic energy okay okay from here e is equal to work function plus k max Okay, so E also we can write as E equals to HF. Okay, so since the equations H is constant, work function is constant because we are using the same uh, sodium surface. Okay, therefore F is directly proportional to our K max. Okay, so if you want to get the maximum kinetic energy, meaning that the frequency, of course, you must take the highest frequency. So from the range here, the highest frequency is 7.9 exponent 14 hertz. Okay, so this is the frequency that we will use to find the maximum kinetic energy. Okay, so we can substitute in the value H F. Okay, H is 6.63 exponent negative 34, and the frequency we use 7.9 exponent 14. Okay, equals to work function. Work function is given 2.28 eh? okay, electron volt. So I will convert it into Joule okay, plus K max. Therefore, K max is equals to 1.59 exponent negative 19 Joule. Okay, so this is the highest kinetic energy of the photoelectron that emit on or ejected from this surface okay so that's all for this subtopic we will continue with the next subtopic see you on next video bye